This video is going to show you how to create a teacher site replacing the old SharePoint or Scalantis site. The new one is actually accessed from our Office 365 landing page. So if we log in and go to Office 360 or Office.com, mine auto logs in because I'm on a school district computer. Yours, you might need to sign in using your SD72 um, user account. This is the icon that we are looking for here. It's called SharePoint. If you don't see yours, click up in the waffle up top here for your all apps. And if you still don't see it, click on all apps and you can click on SharePoint. What it does now is it um, opens the landing page. I have a number of sites here already and it will display any of the sites that you have created on your own. Or what you might notice is that sites are created when you create a team. So these are the backend things that store all your um, documents and communications and whatever. So you are going to want to create a new site and you do that by clicking on the plus sign over here and you are going to want to create a communication site. Do it using the blank template. Um, and I'll show you why in a minute and then create your name. Now your name is going to be important because that is the name of the site that people are going to access. So if it's a chem it, say if it's a course name, create the course name. If it's your teacher site, use your teacher name in there. If it's one that you're going to be recreating every year, include the date. So for me, um, this is going to be my Hagen Media 9 and um, this is gonna be a perpetual one. I'm not gonna renew it every year, so here it is for me. I can give a site description of it if I so choose. This is my URL, so this is my website address of this site that I'm creating, and once you're done that, click Finish. So what it will do is it will create you um, a template that includes the following. It includes your home page, a document storage place, a pages tab, and what that is is it's just a list of all the pages that are there, and your site contents. This edit button up here edits your whole site. This edit over here edits the page that you are currently working on. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to create some different things within my blank canvas here. And these are called web apps. And, and think about when you create a PowerPoint, all the different elements that you add to a PowerPoint. That's what we're going to do here with our page. So I'm going to click here on the edit button. And now what I see is I see just it's still pretty simple here. Um, I see a plus sign over here and I see a plus sign over here. This plus sign over here arranges how your page itself is broken up into um, editable spaces. So if I click over here and I'm going to add a new section, what this does is if I do a one column, this will be all the way across, two, three, and whatever. The very first one, I'm going to create a one column because I want it to be my header for my web page. So I click on one column. Now I have an editable space that I can add to it. And I add to it by clicking on this plus sign right here. And what this does is this specifies the content that I'm going to be adding in this space. So here, the content that I'm going to be adding is an image and it's going to take up the whole space within that one column. Now the nice thing about this SharePoint site is it allows me to access all the stock images it has. It allows me to do a Bing search um, on the web and these are all copyright free or, or uh, Creative Commons. I can upload from my OneDrive. I can um, upload from um, one of my other groups or teams. I can upload from my direct computer or I can copy and paste a link of an image that's on the internet or somewhere else. I am going to do a web search and I'm going to say a media website header. Uh, 
so now once I have my image in there, I can either add a caption or I can add um, another section in here to add um, some more content or even right within here, if I hover over here, I can add another web part within the section. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a web part so I can add a title to my website. So I'm going to add a text and I'm going to say Hagen Media 9. And if I click, I can now change my text. I can make it big. Clicking on my ellipses over here will access the actual sidebar where I can change the color. I can change my justification. I can create a hyperlink to it. Um, I can do whatever I need. So I'm going to change the color. And there we go. So now if I take a look at this, this is my um, picture with my title. Now what's nice is that everything um, saves automatically. So a couple of things now can happen now that I have the start of my home page. I can save it as a draft. So what that means is that nobody will see it, just myself, or I can publish it. So once I publish it, um, that means that my site contents here now will be seen. So I'm going to publish it. I'm ready to go. And this is now what it looks like to um, my viewer. 